Hey you, I want you to dream for a second right now. Imagine you never wrote a single line of code before. And one day you have an amazing app idea. But just two days later, you have a functional prototype of that app ready. Not just a design mock-up. I'm talking real code here, like magic. Or imagine you're a Flutter developer, but the app building process would not take you weeks anymore, but more like hours. Well, that does not have to be a dream anymore. Hello and welcome to this new video from Flutterflow Academy. This video is all about getting you to know Flutterflow. So if you are new to Flutterflow, Flutter or maybe app development at all, this video is exactly for you. Because with Flutterflow, you can stop dreaming and start doing when it comes to mobile app development. This video is divided into three parts. In the first part, we will cover the benefits and use cases of Flutterflow. In the second part, we will give you a quick tour what Flutterflow offers to you and your needs. And in the third part, we will outline the three specific reasons why it is such a game changer. Let's get started. So let's start with the basics. What is Flutterflow? Flutterflow is a low-code tool to build Flutter apps right now in your browser. It gives superpowers to Flutter developers and those who aspire to be one. App development is faster, easier and with less code. The entry barrier is so much lower. We will show you in the second part of this video how that works. Flutterflow has use cases for every need and team. It can cover the back and front end of an application and is constantly improving in features. If you are a single entrepreneur with more of a business background but a great app idea, Flutterflow is the solution to most or all of your tech problems. You can realize your idea with no code at all in Flutterflow. You do have to understand the mechanics of Flutter and Firebase, but learning that is probably not even a tenth of how long it would take you to learn Flutter or Dart from scratch. The use cases are basically endless. Close to every mobile app idea you can think of can be realized nearly completely in Flutterflow. Due to its API calls, you can even embed APIs. We will now give you three examples of use cases. If you are an online content creator in the food niche, like a blogger about vegan recipes, you can now start thinking about your own app, where your community can see all of your recipes, videos and articles, like your own little magazine. Or maybe another example is a community. Due to its extensive Firebase integrations, you can build your own little social network in Flutterflow. So if you are the organizer of, let's say, a meetup, you can now build your own little social network exclusively for your meetup community. Or maybe you are already a pretty decent Flutter developer with a lot of magic back-end skills. But you are really not a fan of building the UX and UI for your app? Well, Flutterflow has you covered because now you can build the UX and UI you hated so much within seconds. Let's dive into it now. I already have an account, so if I click on login now, I will be straight directed to the platform. Signing up is super easy, but if you need help with that, you can check out our Getting Started in Flutterflow video. In that video, we will compare all the plans for you and help you get started. Now I will click on login. And there we go. I now have an overview about all my projects here, but for showing you around, I will start a new project. So for that, I just click on create project and I give it a name. So. Let's name it Getting to Know Flutterflow. And then I click on Create New. So then Flutterflow will give you a little tour, but we can skip that. You see, we already directly land in the so-called UI Builder. The UI Builder is where the UI magic happens. We started here with an empty screen. Onto this empty screen, I can now drag and drop all of the widgets you can see here on my left hand side. If I want to start building, I can just click on the app bar and drag it in. And there is my app bar. Now I have a lot of styling options for my app bar that I could style my app bar with. If you want to know more about these, check out our video on the app bar. But I can also put components into my app. Components like an Apple sign in button. So my users can sign in directly with Apple. Flutterflow enables you to use all of these components so you can build your apps within hours. I will now show you around a bit. Just below the UI builder on your left hand navigation bar, there's the widget tree. In this tree, you can see all of the widgets in your app and see how they are related to each other. 
If you want more details on the widget tree, subscribe to our channel because there will be a video about how to use the widget tree efficiently soon. The next thing below the widget tree are actions. Actions is where you give your app functionality. So if I maybe want that if my user clicks on a button and he's redirected to another screen, I can add an action right here and say what happens on tap, on double tap or on long press. So if I select on tap, I can then select the action type. So maybe navigate, give a backend call, authentication, an Agolia search, an URL that is launched, a photo that is uploaded, a date picker, a bottom sheet or an alert dialog. Let's stick with navigate. And then I can click the navigation type. So navigate to a page or navigate to a back. I can say where it should navigate to. Because I just have one page now, I can just see the home page. But if I would have more than one page, I could click on the next page. If you want to learn more about actions, you can check out our video on actions, which will be released soon. The next thing below actions are the app settings. In the app settings, you can give your app a project name. You can give your app a package name. You can upload assets for your app, like an app launcher icon. And you can do so many more things, like defining an app-wide typography or defining project colors. You already know the drill. If you want to find out more about app settings, subscribe to our channel. There will be a video soon. The next thing has something to do with the backend magic, because the next thing is Firebase configuration. I can connect my Flutterflow apps directly to Firebase, which gives me all the backend power Firebase offers. What backend power am I speaking about? I'm speaking about backend power like the Firebase Authenticator. What is the Firebase Authenticator? Let's dive into Firebase. The Firebase authentication process basically lets you authenticate your users, maybe through Google or through Apple or something else. This really gives you a lot of power because you don't have to code it yourself. You can just connect your Firebase. If you want to learn more about this, check out the links in the video description. Let's dive back into Flutterflow. The next thing below the Firebase Authenticator is the Firestore connection. Here I can see all the collections. For this newly created app, the collections are empty. But if you want to create a collection, you can just click Create Collection here after you configured your Firebase. Check out our Firebase video for more details about that. The thing below Firebase Collections or the Firestore is Algolia Search. What is Algolia? Let's dive into the Algolia site. Algolia is a flexible search and discovery hosted API for developers. So with Algolia, you can basically empower your news app or your e-commerce app. More onto Algolia in our Algolia specific video. And below the Algolia tab, you have the real magic, the API calls. This is what makes Flutterflow really, really powerful. You can connect all APIs. So as an example, if you have an API for maybe pictures from a museum, then you can connect it and all the pictures from maybe the mat are directly in Flutterflow. And if you're working together on a project, you can also connect GitHub. GitHub is a version control system that is used if you develop an app with a team. This is also really powerful because it gives teams the opportunity to use Flutterflow. Let's dive back into the UI builder. What happens after I build my app? This is obviously not a finished app, but let's just imagine it is. Then I can basically export all my code. I just have to click on code right here and then I can click on download code and the whole code package is downloaded. This is really powerful because now I can build apps in Flutterflow, download the code, maybe add some little spice to the back or front end myself if I want to do that. And then I cannot upload them to the App Store. And there we go. I have my own app. But let's go back to the project. I can also share the prototype of the app with the share button. And I can also preview my app with this button. A new tab opens and I can preview the whole app. If you want to provide any feedback to Flutterflow directly, you can do that just through the feedback tab. So this is it with a quick tour of Flutterflow. To dive into each of the parts more specifically, watch the specific video on them. Now let's get to the last part of the video. Three reasons why Flutterflow is such a game changer. Reason number one. It lowers the entry barrier to building qualitative mobile apps by far. With Flutterflow, everyone, even with no coding experience, can build their own apps effortlessly. Reason number two. 
Even if you are a developer already, it will improve your speed a lot. Like mentioned before, if you love backend but you don't like frontend, Flutterflow has you covered. And reason number three. The community behind mobile app development was just opened up to tens of thousands of more people. That means more creativity can flow into mobile app development and collective creativity is a huge driver for the involvement of things. Just think back for a moment to the days where just coders could build their own websites. And then compare that to today, where thousands of people can offer free templates of websites, which makes it so much easier to get inspired and build your own. At the end, we have a little disclaimer though. Even if Flutterflow makes everything easier, you still have to understand the basic mechanics of Flutter and Firebase. With that said, do not let it stop you. Understanding the mechanics will probably take you not longer than half a day or a day. For that, you can subscribe to our channel, since we will be releasing a course on that in the next weeks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.